Hey, and welcome to my channel. This is Northern Chris here. This is part one of my custom West Coast Chopper bike build. I'm going to make some custom engine mounts in this video uh, so I can mount a 125cc three speed uh, ATV motor, actually, four stroke. So the first step, I just cut out some cardboard mounts that I would like to make so I have a rough estimate of what, I, what I'm what i going to need. I made four of them, just out of cardboard, trace them out, and I think if I bend them properly it should be no problem. So after I have the cardboard pieces, I trace them out onto a piece of metal one at a time and then I proceed to cut them out, which is the grinder. So now that I have the four mounts rough, I can put them back on the bike, use a clamp to get a rough idea of where, where I'm going to need the mounts to go in order to mount the frame. A little bit of trial and error in this one, but I think it works out well. So now that I know where the mounts have to go on the bike frame, 
I put them in the vise, and I'm just going to bend each one into the shape that I need. No special tools here, just the vise and a pair of, I guess, pliers. Just slowly bend them by hand. I do use a hammer just to make them perfectly 90 degrees. And I just proceed to do that for the four different pieces. So once I have the mounts bent in the spots where I think I might need them, I then take the motor and do a rough fitting just to make sure it will fit, lining up the, the gear on that with the rear wheel just to make sure that the chain will be straight and won't fly off. And so far it looks like I'm liking what I see. So now that I have the upper mounts um, test fitted, I'm now just making sure that the chain will line up with the sprocket on the motor as well as the rear wheel. Again, I just want to make sure it's perfectly straight. So when I do weld these mounts on, that the motor and the wheel are straight. There is some adjustment I do have on the rear wheel with the chain st stays, so I can adjust it a little bit uh, if I need to or put a few spacers, but just want to make sure that it fits and it's straight overall. And once I mark out how much chain length I need, I just had to use a punch and a hammer because I didn't have a chain breaker. It took a little bit of practice, but it's the best way I find and it didn't cost me anything extra for an extra tool.
So now that the chain is on and cut to size, I now have to do the lower mount brackets. So I'm just again cutting them to size where I think I might have to weld. And I just do that for the bottom two brackets. Now they've tacked the two upper mounts in place. Just a quick shot of what it looks like. Nothing too fancy, but just so I have a rough idea. Okay, it looks pretty good. Just tacked in place here. I'll clean them up a little bit, and then I continue to work on the bottom ones. So now that the top mounts are fully welded, I have to cut the lower one that I bent because the chain was actually hitting the mount, so I had to cut a little notch out of it just so the chain had enough clearance.
So again, just use a little C-clamp, clamping the brackets on rough, just so I can see where the motor has to go, make sure it's not hitting the rear tire or the, the frame, so no vibration. And I just have to trim it down a little bit to size, and I can tack weld it in place. So once all the welding is done, take a brush, clean them all up. Welds aren't the greatest, but they do seem to hold. So I'll take that and I just move on to the next one. So again, you might notice the garage is pretty full. The one car, single car garage. Not very much room in there, but you have to do with the room you have. So I made it work. And again, here I am just welding up the, the last mount for the motor.
So off camera, I actually just used some primer and just sprayed them out so they wouldn't rust. Um, a little bit of gray. I'll be painting the whole frame at some point, but for now, I just wanted to clean them up. Um, now I'm test fitting the motor to make sure it fits so I don't have to bend any the mounts or anything else. So far, it looks like it's going pretty smoothly. So now with the motor mounted, I can put the rear wheel in to make sure that it still fits and that there's not too much slack in the chain. So here it is just putting the rear wheel in, making sure it still lines up with the sprocket on the motor and that it's straight. So now that I have the wheel mounted, I just have to adjust the chain stays to make sure that the chain is tight as well as straight because you don't want that flying off when you're going down the road. So as always, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Northern Chris here. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And thanks so much for watching. This is the end of part one. Stay tuned for part two when you see this thing in action.